Okay guys, uh, this is my very first Maya tutorial, so uh, wish me good luck. Um, I'm going to do a very, very basic introduction to Maya's interface and how to navigate. Um, so let's start with navigation. There are three basic navigation things you can do to navigate around Maya. The first thing is rotating, or some call it orbiting. The next thing is panning. And the last thing is zooming in and out, or some call it dollying. And how you do that is very basic. If you just hold down alt for all three of them you alt left click to rotate you alt right click to zoom in and out another way to zoom in and out is to scroll with the wheel and lastly to pan you press alt and hold down the scroll wheel yes I know this is not possible with laptops so if you're doing Maya on a laptop without a mouse get yourself a mouse because otherwise it'll be very hard to navigate if you can't pan so there are other ways to pan but I'm not going to get into that you can probably find it online but just I would get a mouse because it's very hard to use Maya without a mouse anyways um, so that's how you navigate Okay, now let's get into manipulation and basic geometry. So, we're going to start by creating some very, very basic uh, 3D shapes. And if you look up here, we have a lot of tabs. And those tabs let you create and modify different things. And But the only one we're going to be using today is the polygons tab, which should be the default tab that's open when you first open Maya, unless you've done something to change that. So, if it's not on this already, <laughs> if you're not on this already, go to this tab, and uh, you can choose one of these shapes. We have the sphere, the cube, the cylinder, the pyramid, the plane, whatever that is, the pier the square pyramid, and the hose, or whatever you want to call that. Anyways. Uh, let's start with a cube, which is going to be the most common thing you're going to use. So to create it, you're going to drag on the grid to make this square shape. Then you're going to click drag up to create the height. And if you're in wireframe, you can see up here you have the different modes. This is wireframe, this is solid. And if you click this, then even when you deselect it, you can see the wireframe on the solid. But if you don't click that, then you can't see the wireframe unless you select it. So, that's your basic cube. To make a sphere, you just basically click and drag out just like the size. To make a cylinder, you're going to click and drag for the size of this, the base, then click and drag again for the height. For a cone, click and drag for the size of the base, click and drag for the height. For the plane, just click and drag for the size. And for this one, you're going to click and drag for the size, click and drag for the height, and click and drag again for the thickness. Okay, so we're not going to worry about all these other shapes. The only one we care about right now is going to be the cube. And we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to do some basic manipulation. Usually, when you first enter Maya, if you look over here, the navigational tool selected will just be the plane select tool, which doesn't really let you navigate, it doesn't let you uh, manipulate it, it, just lets you select different objects. So, the three basic manipulators you're going to use the most are your move, your rotate, and your scale. So, for move, as you can see for all three of these, you have three different axes. You have your z-axis, which goes up and down. Or, actually, on mine, that's my y-axis right now. But, the one that goes up and down. 
this is my x-axis right now and that's side to side and this is my z-axis goes this way and then you have your rotate you can rotate by clicking on the, these little circles and moving them like that or if you click here on this outside circle you will rotate based on the way you're looking at it so it will ro rotate parallel to how your uh, camera is looking at it or if you click in the middle you can rotate it freely and then also if you go here and you want to do it per uh, parallel to the way you're looking at it then you can also click in the middle here for the moving and then we have scale you can scale it this way this way and this way or you can click in the middle to scale all of them at the same time very basic uh, for keyboard shortcuts for these you can pick Q on the keyboard just Q no nothing but just the basic letter Q no alt or anything um, for the select W for move <coughs> E for rotate and R for scale. In my opinion, R should be ro for rotate. That would make more sense, but you know, I, I wasn't at the meetings. <laughs> um, <coughs> so that's some basic manipulation and creation of geometry for Maya. Okay, now we're into component selection, which is now we start to get a little bit more fancy. So let's delete this weird rotated cube and just make a new simple one and to show a hidden a little hidden menu here if you alt right click hold on a second hold on okay if you just not alt right click I'm sorry <laughs> if you right click and drag you'll see a new menu come up and you'll have a little menu for the object here there's some material stuff and some other things for it but right now we're just looking at this circular menu hue here and this is where you can select what components you want to select so you can have the vertex the vertex face the face multi multi would just be all of them you can select any of them uv which has to do with uh, graphics and textures object mode which is what i'm in right now and then edge so let's see let's start with the biggest one and go down we'll start with face and as you can see you can select different faces on the object if you pre hold down shift you can select more than one face or you can uh, you can uh, click and drag to, to select a group of them but watch out because if you click and drag there you might not realize that you've also selected the back faces so watch out for that so I try to not do this as much as possible unless I need to unless I'm selecting like all the faces on the object um, or if I want to select the top, all the top faces, I select here, and then shift select these, and then it deselects those, so you can do that. So to deselect, you just shift click them. Okay, and then let's move on to your second most common, uh, your second, your other common selection of components, edge. And as you can see, you can select the edges all that and then my personal favorite vertex you can select the different vertexes of the object this is useful in a lot of character modeling and other things so as you can see if you were to select face and then hit W to change to move. You can move that face separate from the other objects and have the object manipulate with it. So that's this is a main way that you can manipulate your objects to make it look like whatever you want it to look like. Or if we select vertex, you can do that too. You look really weird. And then of course face, if you scale it, some other things too and rotate it so you can manipulate all the different components and you're gonna have to use that a lot once you get a little bit more advanced so there you go that's my very very basic introduction to Maya for first-time users I uh, hope it helped out
and I'll see you in my next tutorial, which I believe will be on Extrude. Yeah.